There's a few things you should know about layers and morph targets when you're using them in conjunction with subdivisions. So here in my tool palette, I have geometry tab open, layers tab open, and the morph tab open. So I'm just going to divide this four times, three times, get four subdivisions in there. And let me just close this Dynamesh here. And now, if I want to record the layer, first thing it will happen if I'm not at the highest subdivision and I try to record the layer, this is the, I'm going to get this. This function requires the highest subdivision. So every time you want to record a new layer, you need to be at the highest subdivision. That's the first. So now I can record a new layer. So I'm just going to say subdivision 4. Okay. Now, I can go down in subdivisions and look what happens to the layers. It just grays out, so I can't stop recording now. But I can I can do something here. So let's say subdivision 3. Now if I go up again, my layer becomes active again. And I can nudge that down and it acts like expected. And if I go down a subdivision without recording, the layer is still available for me. So I can come here and press record. It doesn't let me record. But I can use this. And this is where the problem is. If I go below zero, now, because I went below zero, even if I go to zero, I, I get this result. So even if I go to IS subdivision now, I can bring up my, my details back. But if I go to zero, I get this result. So one thing to keep in mind every time you're using layers, make sure you're at the highest subdivision level if you want to morph your layer or if you want to do changes. Well, you can do changes at the lower subdivisions. Just press record, come down to lower subdivision, sculpt, but only mess about with your layer at this higher subdivision. Otherwise, you're going to get that result. See, the same didn't happen for this line that I placed there. But if I go down subdivision, I go on to the negative, boom, there it goes. There comes back the error again. Okay, so that's one, one thing to keep in mind. Now, morph targets. One more thing to keep in mind before we go to morph targets is if you have your layers or any of your layers active, visible, and you try to sculpt, this is going to happen. It's not going to let you sculpt. So you're either in record mode or you hide your layer. Then you can sculpt. So now morph targets. So let's say I'm in uh, subdivision level 2 and I store a morph target. Okay, subdivision, let me just grab my clay builder brush. Subdivision level 2, I have a morph target right there, that's cool. So let's say I'm going to change subdivision and I'm going to go subdivision level 3. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I don't have access to my morph right any anymore. And if I use my BMO for my morph target brush, nothing happens. Okay. But if I go down to my subdivision level 2, I have access to my morph target again. If I go back down to, to a lower subdivision, I can't use my morph brush. If I use... My slider I can do, but I can't use my morph brush. So same thing goes for morph targets. Best best thing to do if I just undo all this stuff. Before I did the morph target, best thing to do is just go up to the highest subdivision, store a morph target, and now, now I can be subdivision four, subdivision three, subdivision two. And now if I go to my morph brush again, BMO, I can, being in subdivision level 2, I can clear that out. In subdivision level 3, I can also clear that out, and I have my morph. And if I go to the highest, I can also clear any of them out. So those are the things to keep in mind when using morph targets in layers. Now, there's a lot of applications you can, uh, a lot of stuff you can do using these morph targets and layers and uh, I can just talk about one of them. Let's say um, I'm just gonna make my morph brush really big here and just clear that out. 
I'm gonna come back to my clay build up brush. Let's just delete this morph target. Let's say we don't have a morph target, but we have a layer. We're recording that layer. Uh, anything in here? No, it's great. Let's place records. And I got some detail here that I was recording in that layer. And now let's say something that I can do is oh, I wanted to have a morph target before I did all this sculptural detail. Well, I can come here, bring my layer to zero, or just deactivate my layer, store a morph target, now activate my layer, and if I switch morph target, I have access to my BMO, morph target brush, oh, deformation layers, yes, of course, it's not recording, so if I press record, so that's just one of the applications you can do, use using morph targets in layers. Uh, we Next few videos on this playlist are just going to be about little tricks like this where you can use morph targets in layers to do some pretty amazing stuff. So don't forget to like, subscribe, press the little bell so you can get uh, notifications on new videos. Uh, support me on Patreon and I'll see you in the next video.